Humble Park on the northwest side has been home to the Puerto Rican community. I used to love going over there with my uncle. You had the parades, you had the food, a completely different environment from the south side. I got to go over there on the weekends. It has been a powerhouse and motherland to three large gangs. The Land Kings, the Spanish Cobras, and the Maniac Land Disciples. Let's get into this video. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. <laughs> Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up Hey, what's up? JC was wrong the strong, and I am wrong the strong. Another episode of Gang Life. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a message, tell me what you think, what you want me to talk about, and we'll take it from there. If you are part of my crew, mi familia, mi pandilla, mi organización, what's up? Subanse la suburban, let's take a ride at Humble Park, cruise around. Hey, you know it's a different lifestyle over there in the north side compared to the south side. I was blessed enough to be able to experience both lifestyles, you know, early 90s. When I was a kid, my uncle Rick would take me to the north side, better known as the Twilight Zone. They called it the motherland of the MODs. Everyone that wanted to buy drugs or get drugs or just party, the block would always be popping day and night. I remember just looking out the window and it was always popping, 50 to 30 people outside, always walking around. The MODs held that down like a fortress. The Bums, the Bum Brothers was a name that was known and talked about on the streets. They were the talk of the town. Like many gangs in Chicago, you know, power, money, greed, and many other factors, not just that. It was a civil war between themselves and a lot of losses and incarcerations and a lot of lives lost. Rick Dog, rest in peace. Baby Bomb, rest in peace. All casualties, all due to war. The Elma Diesel, the largest Latino street gang in Chicago and the largest Latino gang in the Folk Alliance. If you guys haven't seen what folks and people mean, I'll put it in the cards in the descriptions. Originally known as the Land Disciples and founded by Alberto, aka Hitler, yes, Hernandez, in 1966. In the early 1970s, it is believed to have been their first casualty. Alberto Hitler Hernandez was killed by a Land King member. The Elmodis have paid tribute to him ever since, always adapting the swastika as part of their logo. If you see a swastika, black and baby blue, a heart with wings, the monks, Old English D, or the initials MOD, or pitchforks, you're probably in the Maniac Land Disciple neighborhood. They have spread throughout the south side now. I heard they have a hood now in Archer and like Pulaski. If you guys know anything about that, make sure you drop a comment, let me know. Remember, I share my story from my days. I have not been in Chicago for years because I moved to Phoenix, Arizona, obviously. And I share just a part of history that I remember and I and I lived in the 90s, early 2000s, and pretty much the 80s. Remember, I share my story from where I grew up all the way into the early 2000s. That's my history, my part of Chicago that I remember. A lot of things have changed. A lot of gangs have spread out through other, you know, neighborhoods and, and suburbs. You know, I, I lived on 26th Street, 59th, 79th, Cicero, Bolingbrook, 
you know, I, I lived in those areas. So I share my stories, like I said, from like 1980 all the way to the early 2000s. The Maniac Land Disciples have spread throughout the South Side in many different states. There are different states now. The Maniac Land Disciples allegedly started out as a baseball team and later formed into a gang. And it's, you know, the motherland uh, today known as the Twilight Zone. The thing about a lot of the gangs in Chicago, if you'll hear and you go back to the history of how they started and everything, most of them started as sports clubs, youth clubs, all these, all these things because there was a bunch of kids hanging out together trying to stay out of trouble and trying to stay safe because there would be other, other groups of white kids, black kids, Mexican kids, you know, it was a, a race thing back then and they would get picked on. So they would form together an alliance with, you know, a bunch of kids and they would start, you know, pushing back. You get tired of, you know, like I say, you get tired of getting bullied. So then they form into a gang and start. And then the wars start and never stop because this guy killed his brother, this guy killed that brother. And then that animosity always is, is, is there for life. It is so hard. I've been around where like other gangs that have been at war for, for a while called peace treatings and they don't last long because the bad blood's already there and it's very, very hard to overlook it or try to because you killed one of my best friends and now I hate you for life. It's how it is, it's how it's been over there in Chicago. Another thing that I wanted to share also is that life in Chicago, even though it is a, you know, it's cold, most of the year and, and it's nice in the summertime is that you gotta understand that there's like 30 kids per block because they build up not to the side like in arizona that you have a lot of land in chicago you have the basement the first floor the second floor and the third floor and there's a family in each one let's say every family has three kids you know what i mean that's 12 kids per house or even more so on one block you got 30 to 40 kids all hanging out together almost the same age if not a little bit close every winter time as soon as winter time came when I lived on Christiana on 26th street we would all play tackle football on the street we would all play softball we would all play you know we played sports basketball that's just the way life it is over there and just it's 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 a uh, uh, I guess embedded in our culture and that's how the kids stay stay active and, and that's how it was in, in our time so it was really easy to, to become a powerhouse group, gang, organization, whatever you want to call it, when you got 30 members that are always together. It's an army. You're moving around like an army, military base pretty much with guns and everything, lookouts, you name it, and cars. When we would go to the, like on Sundays, it was like our day to go to the movies with our girlfriends. There would be literally 20 to 30 of us driving in cars all to the movie theater to fort city and it was funny because we would pull up to the light and the first car at the light you know would start gang banging with the car that was next to them and they didn't realize that there was like 20 people behind them and the other cars so then they, when they would start and they would jump out guess what you just made the worst decision of your life four to thirty yeah and that's how it was havoc you know just destruction and all that stuff so a lot of these gangs like I said a lot of these gangs gangs have started as groups to protect themselves now they've turned into larger gangs with obviously larger gangs obviously with connections to the cartel and mafia and all these organizations that pretty much feed all the drugs and the money into them and build them into powerhouse organizations. We have adapted a lot of mafia tactics that earlier in Chicago were the ones controlling the whole drug trade and everything. Humble Park is a beautiful, beautiful area. It's changed a lot. A lot of culture, a lot of food, a lot of music, everything. I used to love going over there. It is a beautiful place. Visit it, check it out, you'll see what I mean. Hey, my name's JC, I am Wrong Strong. This is my channel, my story, my shenanigans. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live. 
Live it right, man. Stay, stay out of prison, stay sober, live a full, full life, and enjoy Chicago, because that is a beautiful city. I'll check you guys out on the rebound.